want to welcome everybody here to what I think is going to be one of the most exciting and most beautiful rides in the Bay Area. We, we have this beautiful iconic bridge, but the actual experience of the bridge, walking and riding over it is amazing. Just coming down the Burmer Trail, and we've been joking we're going to make Burmer Trail signs like the Burmer Shave uh, advertisements to sort of lure you to the bridge, but we think that um, even though the bridge trail uh, won't be done until after the old bridge is torn down, it won't be complete all the way to Treasure Island, that just the ride and as far as we can go, and thanks to MTC and Caltrans for the temporary ramp, just enjoying that will become the experience that people all over the Bay Area and probably all over the world are going to want to have. So what do you think? Beautiful! Well, thank you all for being here to help us celebrate the opening of the Bay Bridge pedestrian and bike, bike path. I know that we have all worked very hard and we've been waiting for this day to come. Many of you work long and hard uh, to advocate for this bike path and to make this a reality. This new bikeway joins the company of similar paths on Dumbarton Bridge, Venetia, Carquines, and the Antioch Bridge. All of those paths are popular, but I think this one will be more. Yes. This bike pack is a reflection of the department and the region's commitment to providing greater access for non-motorized transportation. This one provides great access to the bay, and it is a wonderful addition to the bay trail. Although today the path does not reach the Treasure Island, but I can assure you that our staff, the contractors, and everybody else involved are working hard to get that demolition work going and to get the path all the way to the island. When completed, for the first time, you can reach the island on foot or on bike from all points on East Bay. This bike path is rightfully named after the late Alex Zuckerman, who worked so hard for great bike access for this bridge, access to BART, and every major transportation that we have in the area. This is a great facility. It's a, an absolute must to connect Oakland to the island. And I know there are a lot of push to get this connected to San Francisco. And I would love to see that happen if anybody wants to raise the funds to build another bridge that goes all the way over there. But, right? You know, Mr. Zuckerman attended so many of our MTC meetings. And, you know, we always look forward to having the public come to our meetings. And this bike path is a perfect example of how you can get things done by participating in the public process. And I just also want to congratulate the East Bay Bicycle Coalition for your sustained advocacy on behalf of bicycle and pedestrian pathways throughout uh, our region. Cities around the Bay are investing in bike and pedestrian uh, pathways for, for all of us to be able to enjoy, whether it's going to work, going to school, or recreating. It's a wonderful resource. And this bike path is the jewel in the crown of that effort. It is so exciting to be here today to dedicate this, this bike path and it is an incredible milestone. To me this bridge is about connectivity, walkability, and livability. In the city of Emeryville we have another two, two other projects that we're going to be rolling out to make this connectivity because we're separated by these huge roads and and railroad structures. So we have the Bay Trail, which is an, another part which is going to be coming through Emeryville, connecting to the Shalman. And then we have another bridge that's going to be coming across railroad tracks and connecting to Bay Street. So it's this work is not done. It's it's something that we have to keep working at. We have to make this city, this area, more walkable and livable. Uh, the Zuckerman family, if you could come up and join us. We've been hearing stories a little bit as long as, as we've been riding along about how their father rode his bike on his 80th birthday on an 80 mile uh, ride and how it was his vision to fight for this. Um, we're very proud that he was an Oakland City employee, that he was a member of our planning department and he is the one who really fought for this. Even in retirement he would go to those MTC meetings according to Amy and everyone. So um, please let me introduce Dave and Ron Zuckerman. We've come a long way 
From the days when Alex Zuckerman, middle age, from his West Berkeley home, hopped on his bike for the first time to do a bike commute. His, his um, goal was to reach the sixth floor of the city hall. But what he found out when he walked through the front door was bikes weren't welcome. So what did he do, being kind of a tenacious, resourceful guy who never took no for an answer? He went, found the freight elevator, snuck past the security guard, and went to work. And that became the MO for quite a while. Um, but we've come a long way from those days, and now we have bikes on BART, we have bikes on AC Transit, we have many bridges that are open for bicycle access, as Bijan went through. Uh, we look forward to the day that we complete this path all the way to San Francisco. We look forward to opening up the Richmond San Rafael Bridge someday to bikes. And I think I'll just end on a personal note, if, if you'll indulge me, and that is, um, I will say to my, my daughters, Lila and Rosalie, uh, Alex's grandkids, that though you didn't know the man that we called Papa, you didn't know him so well. You never saw him in his prime. I will just say that this bridge and the bike path on the bridge that bears his name just pays tribute to his belief that a little passion, a little hard work and perseverance, you can get anything done. So thank you. I want to say how proud Alex would be if he could see this beautiful path. It's very much of a dream of his to be able to ride across this bridge. It's truly an honor for the family to see the path bear his name. And I hope this wonderful path will inspire and energize people all over the Bay to explore cycling for both recreation and commuting. Subsequent leaders of the Metropolitan Transportation Commission deserve applause. Amy Wirth, Jean Kwan, Steve Heminger for honoring the commitment to provide public access. Nevertheless, the San Francisco Bay remains a travel barrier that motivates us at BART to provide bicyclists with all hours access. Of course, the ultimate goal is to complete the path on the west span. That extension of the Alex Zuckerman bicycle and pedestrian path will also enhance the safety for motorists and for bridge workers maintaining the bridge. It has been an effort of all of the advocates around the Bay to win this path. And one of the things that is really exciting to me is about the connections that we're making. A couple of folks have mentioned that already. We are, this is the first step in connecting across the Bay and giving people one more choice in how they connect to work and to play in the city if they live in the East Bay or vice versa.